What's up you guys? Welcome back. So as you can tell, today's video is going to be a little different. We're in my bathroom right now and I am so excited because I just got a package from Fenty Skin. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. Rihanna just dropped skincare products. Sorry, I'm like slipping on the, <laughs> the carpet beneath me. I'm like <laughs> sliding. I'm so excited. There has been so much buzz around this. So I'm so excited to try this out. So I figured we could do is I could do an initial like I'm going to try right now for the first time. Do an initial like first impressions and then check in with you guys throughout the next. I want to use it for like at least 10 days to two weeks and like check in with you guys periodically throughout that time for how it's working on my skin. Now, disclaimer to really see real results and changes in your skin from skincare you're gonna need longer than that you're gonna need probably honestly some people say a month I think you need longer than that like two to four months really to see if a skincare product is really gonna change your skin significantly you know if you're trying to change skin texture or breakouts or something like that skincare is definitely a more long-term sort of product as compared to makeup that's like the instant gratification you instantly see what it does to you know your face but with that being said I feel like within a 10 days to two week period I can tell a lot about a skincare products I can tell whether or not it's gonna work for my skin like if I'm gonna break out from a product it's gonna happen relatively quickly um, it's not gonna it just like randomly start breaking me out like two months later like it's gonna happen pretty much when I first try it and I'm also gonna be able to see like is this going to work for my skin type I do have more drier skin so I can normally tell relatively quickly if a product's gonna dry me out make my skin like too tight feeling and more things like that but again I just do want to say it does take longer to see real results for skincare so in maybe two to four months I can do like a follow-up video to this and show you guys my results of using Fenty skin for that long so this is obviously gonna be more first impressions based but I I know so many of you guys have wanted to hear about this see about it, see my thoughts on it. So I figured we could do this kind of video first for you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. I don't do a lot of skincare on my channel, but I hope that you guys are excited. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want more skincare videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I wanna start by giving you guys a lowdown of the products. I'm just gonna put them right here. Let me get up pricing for you guys as well because that is important. Okay, so up first we have the cleanser. This is the Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. This is gonna be retailing for $25. You guys can get this I like on Fenty's website and then I do believe it's going to be available in store at Sephora as well. It says soft skin without stripping or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. So that I'm interested to check that out because I've never used a cleanser as a makeup remover. Obviously, I don't have any makeup on right now. So we're going to use these now initial and then later on today I'll obviously put makeup on and stuff and then tonight when I do my nighttime skincare I'm going to use this and see if it removes makeup as well So we'll do that later on tonight because I am going to be using these both day and night Typically I have separate um, kind of skincare that I use in the morning versus the night But for purposes of this video I'm going to use these products both day and night and not two separate sets of products So that's the cleanser and then it does say on here. It's clean vegan gluten -free free oil free which that's really nice and it says for all skin types because a lot of cleansers sometimes will say like suitable for oily skin suitable for dry so this one's for all skin types so that's awesome so that is the cleanser now we're gonna move on to I'm just like reading literally off their website so I can give you guys the right information this is the fat water pore refining toning serum so this I'm really really interested in this looks really cool it looks like a thicker product where normally toners are just like water-like. So this says it instantly refines the look of pores that I like, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. It says use day and night on clean fingers. Okay, so they just want you to apply it directly to your fingers. All right, the second ingredient in this is witch hazel. Um, I don't remember if I like that on my skin. I feel like I've tried that on my skin before and I don't remember if I like it or not. So we'll have to see about that. And the retail price on this is $28. So it's a little bit more expensive than the cleanser. And then we have the moisturizer. So this is really cool. It actually came like this, like separate. So this is like the actual moisturizer carton, I guess. And you put it in here and this is what it looks like. Super cute packaging. And this is gonna retail for $35. It says light as air hydration. Oh, sun protection, awesome. So it has... SPF 30 in it, so that's really cool. It says it's supposed to defend and brighten skin while reducing the look of pores. So a lot of stuff about pores in this, which I really like that. And it is something that I look, I like when I look at products and stuff, I do look kind of for that marketing. I'm a sucker for that. So I'm excited to test this out and see how this stuff works. So the first thing we're gonna do is cleanse the skin. So I'm gonna put my hair back just so it's not all like hanging down on my face. And we'll go in and use all these products for the first time and see how they work. You guys can see all of my products behind me. Oh my gosh, this is in my bathroom. <laughs> it's 
from Ikea, if any of you guys are wondering. Our bathroom, I don't know, We bought when we bought this house, there was no linen closet, which is normally where I would like put that stuff. So it's behind me. All right, I'm gonna try and move the camera so I have you guys like in front of me because the sink is over here. So give me a second. All right, I think this is a little bit better. So here is the cleanser up close. Let's open it up. It's, oh, I thought it was gonna be like a complete twist off. So it's just a little twisty bottom like that. So you go like, that's cool. I like that. All right. So I guess there's no like seal. Ooh, okay, it's like orange, didn't expect that. So that is what it looks like. Does have scent. Um, don't love fragrance in skincare. Um, I don't have super sensitive skin, so hopefully that's not an issue. If you have sensitive skin, honestly, I wouldn't recommend skincare with a scent. It's a nice scent. But if your skin is more sensitive, I would say just go for something fragrance-free because it can cause irritation to the skin. Hopefully this will not for me, but something to note. It is a nice smell though for, for what it's worth. All right, so I'm gonna get my hands, get some water going. Okay, so it got like bubbly in my hands when I added water. I'm gonna just put it on my face and kind of lather it up. The scent is nice, but I feel like when you do apply it, it gets a little stronger. Let me turn the water off while I do this. But it lathers nice in the skin but you can definitely smell the scent. It is a little bit thicker feeling, so maybe it will like take makeup off. I don't know, I'm interested to see that tonight if this cleanser works, but obviously we'll be back for that to see if it actually removes makeup or what. All right, I'm gonna go in and rinse this off now. I feel like we thoroughly cleanse. All right. Got it all off. Honestly, I used probably more than I needed to because it took me a while to like actually get it off because it lathered up pretty well and it's more of a thicker consistency. So you could use less than um, how much I used. But my skin feels nice. It does not feel tight or dry. Sometimes some cleansers immediately, you'll feel that tightness on your skin. Didn't get that with this, so that's really nice. Obviously, we'll see over the next you know week, two weeks how it works using it twice per day and everything. But initially, I think my face feels good, feels clean, feels soft. So can't complain about that. All right, now that we're done cleansing, I can take my hair down so I don't look bald. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with the fat water. So I like this because normally with serums, I like put them on those little cotton pads, but I just feel like that's wasteful. So this is just says to put right on clean fingers. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's like a little seal on top. So I'm just gonna take this off. Okay, and this looks like same deal as the cleanser. You just kind of twist the top. There's like a little hole, I guess. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna just pour it, I guess, onto my hand. I don't really know how much. Use that much and see. Oh yeah, okay. So this feels honestly more like a serum than it does a toner. Definitely thicker consistency where I feel like toners, again, normally are like water-like. This definitely thicker, more like a serum, but maybe it's like in between a serum and a toner. Feels really nice and silky on the skin. This one maybe has a little bit of fragrance, but it's definitely less fragrant than the cleanser was, but it does still, it has a little bit. I feel like it could have probably been formulated without that, but some people like fragrance, I guess. Okay, so skin looking really nice. I added a little bit of like a glow, just so you guys can see. Um, doesn't feel tight or drying or anything like that. It does have a little bit of tackiness to it. Um, obviously, we still have to go in with moisturizer and stuff, but a little tacky, so it actually might be great for um, pre-makeup application so your makeup can really adhere to the skin. Um, okay, so last but not least, we're gonna go in with the moisturizer. I don't know how this works exactly. Squeeze some out. Oh, so this is like a pink, has a pinky, very light pink undertone. Ooh, okay. This has a lot of scent, definitely. Um, but feels really thick. So that's actually really nice, you know, because my skin, again, like I said, is on the drier side. This is not, like, this is no joke. This is a thick, products. I feel like this is gonna hydrate my skin well. It's not one of those like watery moisturizers that like is really not gonna do much. Like this feels like this is gonna moisturize my skin. So I actually really like that. And it definitely added like a glow to my skin, but there, there is a lot of scent in this. So hopefully it doesn't break us out. This one 
I feel like it smells like grapefruit, it smells different than the cleanser does, but feels really, really nice. The like consistency and everything is like very, very nice on that, so I can't complain about that at all. Um, so right now, only thing I can say is that it's definitely heavily scented. Aside from that, I feel like everything worked pretty well. Again, you know, it's hard to tell Un right off the bat. Like, we'll see how it looks tomorrow and next week and, you know, days from then. Like I said, I'll see you guys later on tonight to see if this cleanser will actually remove my makeup, we'll test that out. And then I'll periodically check in with you guys over the next two weeks um, with how my skin is doing. And we'll see if this stuff is any good. Is it worth the price or is it just gimmicky because it's Rihanna? Who knows? Because people are gonna buy it anyways just because it's Rihanna um, because she's queen. You know, we all know that. But I'm interested in letting you guys know, like, is this stuff actually good? Which I actually think a lot of her makeup products are good. So I do have high hopes that the skincare line is going to be good like her makeup products are. So we'll see. And I'll see you guys later on tonight. Hey guys. So it is nighttime now, I'm about to wash my face. I didn't end up wearing that much makeup today. I really just have like my like complexion products on and then I just have a mascara on. It's not waterproof, but I still have mascara on. So it should be good enough to see whether or not this can actually remove makeup. I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm also in Christmas pajamas, as y'all can see, which is such a vibe right now. I love Christmas time. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my face a little bit first, just to like dampen it. And then I'm gonna go in with some of the cleanser. Again, I'm gonna use less than I used before just cause you don't really need a lot because it gets thick. I'm gonna work this on the skin. Ooh, honestly, even though this cleanser does have a lot of scent to it, it is a nice scent. Um, I'll give it that. I do really like the way that it smells. Lathering nicely on the face. Let's bring it on the brows. Where we're really gonna see is on the mascara, but I'm gonna do that part last. Because I feel like just to remove face makeup isn't that terribly hard, um, but actually removing mascara is a whole nother story. And it is just regular mascara. Obviously waterproof mascara is a lot harder to remove, but I don't ever really wear waterproof mascara. All right, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. Now let's go in on the eyes. I feel like on the eyes is where it's probably not gonna work. Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna add some more water. I feel like with a little more water added, it's helping to loosen up that mascara and get it off. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't open my eyes right now. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, Kelly but I feel it like coming off. All right, I'm gonna go in and wash my whole face off now with water and rinse and see how it did. Okay, honestly, this did so much better than I expected as far as removal of makeup goes. I'm just gonna bring this towel underneath my eyes a little bit. I have a little leftover mascara there. I wasn't wearing a ton of makeup today, but this did pretty much remove it all, um, which I did not expect that. I still feel like I will go in and use kind of my three-step cleansing routine on my face normally, or especially on days when I'm wearing a ton of makeup. But for the average person who doesn't wear as much makeup as me, because I know I probably wear more than the average, this will honestly probably remove your makeup. like. It did a really good job, honestly. I thought for sure it really wasn't gonna do that good. So so I do have to give this cleanser props for that. So I'm gonna go in now with the fat water again and work that onto my skin. I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer now. Oh yeah, the moisturizer <laughs> has a lot of scent, but it is a nice smell. All right, so that is that for my skincare for the night. I am ready for bed. So like I said, I'm gonna periodically check in with you guys and we're gonna see how this does on my skin and I will give you guys updates. So far so good, but time will really tell. So I will see you guys in a couple of days. Hi guys, me in my Christmas pajamas again. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Um, I'm sitting here in bed watching TV and I noticed that my lips and like my mouth area is, are so dry. Like my lips literally feel trapped. And like my face, it looks good. Like I'm looking at it on camera, it looks glowy. It couldn't feel any different than that. Like my face really feels honestly tight and dry and really especially around the mouth area. So I'm gonna go in, I have this like medicated lip balm that I use when my lips feel really dry. Normally I use this like in the middle of the winter to help. And I'm gonna see if that helps. Maybe my lips are just dry and it's not the skincare, but I'm a little concerned. Like I feel like my face looks good, but it definitely feels tight and dry, which I'm upset about. So I don't know, we're gonna see. This lip balm is like white, so <laughs> I look a little strange now, but it's interesting though because you know, obviously I used it this morning and throughout the day, I didn't feel my face dry or tight at all. Um, but then now it certainly does. So maybe it was just too much using it morning and night. I I'm not sure. Um, so we'll see. I'm still going to keep using it, but I feel like my hopes 
of this being really good have kind of gone down a little bit. I had really high hopes and now I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work for me, so we'll see. But I wanted to give you guys that little update. Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to check in with you guys. We have not had power all this week, but we thankfully just got it back, but I have still been diligently using these products even though we didn't have power on my skin. So I wanted to update you on how my skin is doing. So last time I checked in with you guys, I told you that my skin felt really, really dry. My skin did continue to feel that way um, as the days went on. So what I ended up doing is I switched out using the fat water twice per day because I was using the same regimen of products both morning and night, and I decided to only use this in the morning and then at night use a more moisturizing serum and that has worked a lot better on my skin. If you have dry skin, this will probably be too much for your skin to be used twice per day. As I think I said in the beginning, the second ingredient is witch hazel. So witch hazel is an extringent and it's it's good, um, but it can be very drying to the skin and I think that's where a lot of my dryness was coming from. I still do feel drier than usual to be completely honest with you. My skin I think looks pretty good. Like it doesn't look terrible. Like it actually looks nice. And this blemish that I had going on in my cheek has gone down significantly in the past week Again, it could be time, you know helping too But I had had this blemish literally for like three weeks and nothing was changing it Like I kept putting like acne cream on it and stuff and like every day I was waking up and it was the same thing It has definitely gone down. So that's something that I really really liked um, It happened pretty quickly over the past couple days. So that was definitely a good thing I feel like the moisturizer is amazing for the day I think if you have drier skin you may want to pair it with a more moisturizing night cream and obviously I'm going to continue using this both day and night while we do this little like experiment for the video. But in my regular life after I'm done with this video, I will probably pair this as my daytime moisturizer and then pair it with a more thicker night cream that can help keep my hydration levels a little bit higher. Cause I definitely do feel on the drier side, but knocking this down to only once per day has helped a lot because I was pretty dry using it twice a day. Great news is that I don't have any new breakouts at all. So not only did it minimize the appearance of this breakout, but I didn't have any additional ones, which means the fragrance in the skincare is not bothering my skin. So that's really, really nice. Um, or none of the products, you know, seem to be irritating my skin to the point where I'm getting blemishes or anything like that. So that's really great. And normally that's like the thing that I'm most scared of when I introduce new skincare is that it's gonna make me break out because a lot of them do. So also over the past week to address the dehydration of my skin, I have been using the Vanity Planet Essia. I've actually had this for like over a month and I normally use it once or twice per week. There's a variety of different settings that you can use. There's an exfoliate, a moisturize, and a lift setting. I wanna thank Vanity Planet for partnering with me on this little section of today's video, but this is actually help my skin a lot as well. It's basically a lifting and exfoliating wand so you can actually mix and match it with like different serums or moisturizers as well. When I do the exfoliating part I either use water on my skin or a moisturizer. I'll basically show you guys how I do it. I'm just gonna put a little water on my face. You could also use moisturizer if you want to and just turn it on, click it to get to the exfoliator. So you basically just go like this up on your skin with it and it helps to really get the extra gunk out of your pores and really exfoliate it. You guys can see there's like gunk on it. So I have been using this help exfoliate. And then if you actually switch to the moisturize setting when you apply a serum, it helps to allow the serum to penetrate better into your skin. It's a really cool product. Honestly, it makes it like a spa at your house. So Vanity Planet was amazing. They hooked us up with an amazing discount code. So you guys can use code Kelly55 to get 55% off of the SEO one. So I'll have a link down below in the description box with all the information. So you guys can click there if you want to shop it and check it out. And it's been a really nice tool to help improve the tone and texture of my skin. Obviously, like I said, I've been using this prior to using Fenty Skin as well, but it's worked well in combination with the products that I've been testing for the past week. But yeah, that is my one week update. So I will keep you guys in the loop and posted on how the next week goes for our skin. What's up you guys? So I am here for my final check-in on how the Venti Skin products have been working on my skin. I am filming this the morning of the day you guys are gonna see this video. So it's Wednesday morning right now, but I wanted to get my final check-in in as late as possible for you guys to give the products as much time to work on my skin. So as I said in the beginning, obviously it takes a longer time to see real results, but I feel as though I have formed a pretty good opinion on these products, how they worked on my skin, and how I'm going to be using them in the future. Overall, I do think that these products are really nice. I don't think that they are poor products that are just like a celebrity slapping their name on it, which I really haven't thought that about any of Rihanna's products, which I really like, because we've obviously seen in the past, sometimes these like celebrities and stuff just like slap their name on products that aren't actually good, but knowing that people will just buy them because it's a celebrity that they like or whatever, which I really don't think that's the case with these products, I did really enjoy getting to use them. So I want to break down each of the products and let you guys know like final thoughts. So 
First, we'll talk about the cleanser. So overall, this one's probably my second favorite product um, out of the three. It's a very nice cleanser. It's definitely thicker. It lathers really well, and it removes my makeup very well. As I said when I first showed you guys removing my makeup, I will still be going in with some sort of like cleansing balm first to cleanse off my makeup and then go in with this to wash my face and make it really clean. But on nights where I'm tired and I just want to get the makeup off, this will do the job to remove your makeup and clean your skin in one step. The fragrance did not irritate my skin. I got no additional breakouts during this time of trying these products, so that was great. Because this is more of a thicker cleanser, it does take longer to wash your face with this. I found myself like using a lot more water to make sure it was all off, just because it's thicker and it does get all nice and sudsy and stuff. So I think this is a great nighttime cleanser. In the daytime, I'm gonna start going in with more of like a lighter cleanser just in the morning that I can use to refresh my face in the morning rather than using this twice per day. But I think for nighttime, it's a great cleanser to use and will help to clean your skin adequately and didn't cause like any funkiness or anything weird with my skin, so I do really like it. Now on to my favorite product, that was the moisturizer. So this I really enjoyed using. I have it on my skin today and I'm going to continue to use this as my daytime moisturizer for a couple different reasons. Well, first and foremost, I wanna talk about the packaging, which I didn't touch on this enough in the beginning. When you go to buy a new one of this, you can just buy the carton. So the packaging is amazing because then you just keep this. You don't have to keep buying all of this plastic, like this whole component, you just by this, so I really, really like that. It's a lot less wasteful, and I feel like I didn't talk about that as much in the beginning when I showed you guys this, so I really like the packaging on it. It gives a nice glow to the skin, like I feel like it makes my skin look really, really glowy, and it does have a chemical sunscreen in it, which is great because that typically doesn't leave a white cast on the skin like other sunscreens can do. For my daily moisturizer, I do like something that has SPF in it, so I really like that. With that being said, I am going to be starting to use a more hydrating night cream with using this during the day. Because my skin is drier, I feel like this doesn't provide me enough moisture. Using it as both my daytime and nighttime moisturizer, but I think pairing this with a more hydrating night cream for my dry skin girls is going to be perfect, because then you'll get that hydration overnight, and then you can get the sun protection and glowy kind of pretty look to your skin during the day. So this overall was my favorite product. Love the packaging. Smells really nice. Again, no breakouts or anything from it. I believe it is oil-free too, which is something that I like. I'll double check on the oil-free part, but I'm pretty sure it's oil-free. And yeah, I would say this is my favorite product from the line. And last but not least, for my least favorite product, although I still don't hate it by any means, it is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toning Serum. So as I said, I thought that this was the culprit for causing my skin to be overly dry when I first started to use this. Once I started to only use it once per day, my skin got a lot better as far as dryness goes. Um, so I do think that this works because like I said, this blemish that I've had, I don't know what is going on with this because I've had it for so long now, but it was like a raised up blemish for like weeks. But when I started to use this, it is now flat. You can just see the mark. So I feel like that probably had to do mostly with the serum. I like the kind of like toner serum hybrid, so you don't have to use two separate products. But if you have dry skin, you are probably not going to be able to use this both day and night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this during the day and then at nighttime, I'm going to use a more hydrating serum instead of using this twice per day. And as I said, witch hazel is the second ingredient in this, which is what I think was causing my dryness, but there are a lot of really good ingredients in this as well. It has niacinamide and it has high levels of that and it does have glycerin in it too, which is actually a good product to use on your skin before applying makeup. It helps the makeup adhere better to the skin. So again, I think this is best used for the daytime. So overall, I did really like the products. I do just think if you have drier skin, you're going to need to pair the products with more moisturizing products at some point in your routine to help to balance out your skin because I didn't find any of the products to be overly moisturizing, but they did have a variety of different benefits. So that's kind of my overall thoughts. I feel as though if you had oily skin, these products would probably be fabulous. Obviously I can't speak to how they control oil since my skin is not oily, but overall I do think they are quality products. And also for the high-end skincare range, they are moderately priced, even though, you know, I know $25, $35 like isn't cheap by any means, but sometimes skincare can run, you know, crazy crazy, crazy amounts, you know, 90, $100, which is just insane. So these are still moderately priced, which I do like as well. So those are kind of my thoughts. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Are you going to be trying out Fenty Scan? Or are you going to skip on it? I would love to hear. If you guys want me to do a follow-up in a couple of months of how my skin has been doing using these products, definitely let me know that down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!